here's the next tutorial you guys uh, we're in Photoshop and we're at the home screen and so we're gonna browse tutorials if you don't see this uh, browse tutorials then you can see if you have the latest version of, of Adobe I'm using right now Adobe Photoshop 2022 and if you don't see it X out and right click on there quit and open it back up but it's the latest version of Adobe Photoshop 2022 on a desktop. So we're gonna browse tutorials right here. And then I'm gonna search for the one I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go under all categories, instead of saying photo editing, all categories, and it's in select and, or is it composite? It's composite. So right here, it was gonna go into composite, and combine images to create a composite image with layer mask. So that's what it should look like. I'm going to start this tutorial. And look at this deer. Fantastic shot of this deer. And notice the background is out of focus and lighter. This is going to be important because we're going to select this automatically with Photoshop's um, selection method. So right here, the first thing it says is select layer deer. So I'm going to click on that right there. And once I have that selected, it tells me to go click select subject to automatically select the deer. So right up here under select, I'm going to go subject. And that's going to select everything. Now that I have that selected, it did a pretty good job. It can't get the feet because the feet's in that, that grass. The next thing is going to be tells me to add a layer mask icon. This is going to mask off everything uh, that's not the selection with black. It hides it. So black hides, white shows it. So let's go to this little, it's a little uh, rectangle with a circle and add layer mask right there. And now we have our deer that is selected. Now there's one thing I'm going to do. You can do this if you want to. This is not part of it. I'm going to click on the move tool right here and I'm going to make this deer smaller because it's too big. So you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to kind of hit the corners and make it a little smaller. Something that looks a little bit more accurate maybe. Maybe put it over here. I don't know. Uh, that one looks like it's possible or maybe back in here uh maybe back in here a little bit right and just make that a little bit smaller this to me looks a lot more realistic and then i'll work on that now notice this is above that layer so i'm gonna i'm gonna fix that too okay so i'm gonna go like that i think that's a little bit more accurate i'm gonna hit i'm gonna hit uh return or enter click out of that and now it says now the next thing it says click next to continue so i'm going to click next and right here it says select the brush tool if this tool is already selected click on another tool and then back on the brush tool it's not selected so i can just click right on it right here it says make sure the foreground color is set to black click next the foreground color, there's two squares here. The first square on the top is the foreground. And this one, this second square right here that's also white is all is the background. So right here it wants to select the first square, the top one, and make sure it's set to black. So we can click on it. And when we click on this, we're gonna see a uh, little eyedropper tool. And we're gonna go over to the corner, all the way in that corner, so it says zero, 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 and click OK. Now we can click right here. I believe it was this, and I believe we can click next here. So now it says click the brush picker to the left brush, select set brush to about 80, and preset to zero for the hardness. So let's click on this, let's move this to about 80. And the soft brush is, is selected, the soft round one, and the hardness is set to zero. 
So now we can select next. Now it says to brush with the black over the bottoms of the legs. This adds black to the layer and blends it in. So make sure that you have this black box, this mask selected. If you don't have this selected, it won't work right. So make sure you're clicked on there, that black thumbnail. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to lightly brush this over the legs there. So it's kind of in there, right? And it looks like it's kind of in this brush there, okay? So we're just making that, we're just, so you can see what we did if you click off of this background, you can see what we did. We just softened that up and now it looks like it's kind of in the brush more, okay? So with that, we're gonna go next, click next to continue. Now we're gonna select this branch layer right here. It says branch, select that layer. And then it also says once we click that icon, click the empty box to the left of the branch layer to make this layer visible. So when we click on this box right here, we're gonna see this actual layer. This is a layer. So now we're gonna select this based on color. We're going to make a selection of this. So everything that is not this color was, is going to select, be selected. So it says right up here, it says select color range. So we're going to select color range. And this is where we're going to read it real carefully, okay? And let's see what it says. So this is how it came up here like this. I don't know. It says make sure the sample colors is selected sampled colors right up here so we want sample colors and then it says click the left click the left eyedropper so we have the left eyedropper then click the white background to sample it okay click the white background and then change the fuzziness to about 70 so i'm going to change this to 70 Click the invert box, check box. So we're going to invert this. It's going to select the opposite. It was selecting the white. Now we're going to tell it to select this part. Okay. That's very important that we have invert selected. Otherwise, it won't select the right thing. Now click OK. Click Next to continue. So OK. And we can see a selection around everything that's not white. And now we're going to click Next. Now it says select Add Layer Mask to create a layer mask on the branch layer. Click Next to continue. So again, right here, we can hover over it and we can see Add Layer Mask. So I'm going to click on this little rectangle with a circle on it and it's going to hide everything except the selection. Right there we go. Now. We're going to click Next. Now we can select Edit Free Transform. So up here in Edit, we're going to click on it, Free Transform. So Free Transform, let's click that. And it says drag a corner to make the branch smaller. And then it says hover outside a corner and drag to rotate about 40 degrees. Drag inside the box to move the branch over the deer's right antler. So first, then we're going to click enter and then continue. So let's take this corner. And the cool thing is, is I'm going to move this down like this. I'm going to click the move tool too. Also, I have show transform controls. Okay. Oh, I selected the wrong one. It's going to be the branch that I want selected. So I can just select the right one there like this. Oh. So I'm moving that. I'm making it so it fits the size of 
my antler the right way. I am going to rotate it. So if I'm outside the box, it says 40 degrees. So I'm going to move that to about 40 degrees to make it approximately work. So then I'm going to take that and put this over here. But notice it still doesn't quite look right. So I'm going to make it smaller still. I'm going to keep on making it smaller until it kind of fits it the right way. There, now it's kind of covering the antlers. You see that? So I got it the right place. Now I am going to make everything bigger. So I'm going to go, I can use this uh, zoom tool or I can use uh, on my Mac command plus or I can use on my PC, it's like Windows plus, the little plus. So that way I can get, and then I'm going to hold down my space bar, which creates a hand tool. And I'm going to, with my space bar, I can kind of move it in the right spot so I can get a better image of what I'm doing. So again, we're going to kind of put that in the right spot there. And for, for me personally, I'm going to actually rotate it just a little bit more. So I'm closer to like, I mean, but you guys do whatever you want. I'm closer to like maybe 45, but that's just what I'm doing. But 40 does show the antlers a little bit. So if you want, want to see the antlers at 40, you can go like that and see it, which maybe that works better. Okay. So now that we have that, I'm going to press enter. I'm happy with that. Okay. I'm going to press return or enter. And I'm going to click next. Now it says click layer, duplicate layer, and OK. So layer, duplicate layer. Oh, right here. And it says branch copy. So this is, we're going to copy this whole layer here. And it's going to be called branch copy. I'm going to go OK. And so now there's a branch copy. It's like right over it. You can't see it, but there's another copy right on top of that. So then I'm going to go, it says with the new branch copy layer selected. So see how this layer is selected now? I'm going to click edit, transform, flip horizontal. So I'm going to go edit, transform, flip horizontal. And so now we have another exact copy and we can move that, oh, Command Z, and I'm going to click that one. So I had to select the branch copy, you know, the wrong one's being selected. And I can put this exactly where I want this to be. And I can use the arrows on, the, on my keyboard to kind of put it right, right where I want it. So that's how I'm kind of make fine tuning it to the spot I want it. Okay, so now that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So it says select the move tool and drag the new branch over that left antler, which is what I did. So I'm going to click out and that so it knows I did that. And then I'm going to click next. And that's it. So now I am going to make it a little smaller by using uh, the zoom tool or my shortcut, which is command. And so you guys can kind of see that. Right, and I click out of it, and right, there you go. That is the photo. Now, if you're my student and you're going to turn this in, we want to go to image, image size, right? No, I might do with this one. I might move the deer. I'm just looking at it. I might move this deer. Just like that there. There. Okay, so I'm going to go to image, image size, and I'm going to change the whole size of the whole thing. Not a big deal to 1,000. The biggest one, which is the height on this image. And again, I'm not worried about this. This is for online, just to show your work. We're going to go to file. We're going to go then to save a copy, 
save on my computer here and I'm going to carefully go to JPEG. I'm going to carefully select it without touching that period in that JPG, the, the extension. I don't want to mess it up. If, you, if I get rid of that dot JPG, the, the extension, it's not going to save correctly. Now, this is not going to save all the layers, okay? If I want to save all the layers, I'm going to go to Photoshop, which is usually what I do in the beginning. Save as a Photoshop file and then save it as a JPEG. Okay, so let's go into, we're going to name it the actual name, Combine Images to Create a computer composite with layer mask. I don't have to save that, but it's going to go in my download. So I need to know where it's going. This is going in my download so I can look for it right now. Save it. Since it's going on the web and it's, it's not really very... I don't need a super high quality. I just want to make it a lot smaller and faster. I'm going to save it as a quality six. Now, if you're going to want to print out something, you want a much, you want it all the way up to the top. So there you go. That's how you do that image. Hope that helps.